lab number one one. In first section of our labs, we will focus on installation and default configuration of our products that we will require for further development of our mobile applications. And in this particular lab, we will start with installing mobile first platform uh, studio. And first of all, we will need to download Eclipse and install it. And then we will install studio as a plugin for, for Eclipse. So let's start. Let's open the browser and download the Eclipse. Uh, we will need to get the supported version and the best option for now is Luna. So uh, just pick up Luna version 4.4.2. Uh, in our case it will be released for, for Linux and it will be 64-bit release. So it will take like 15-20 seconds to download and then we can continue. Yeah, so we finished with downloading. Uh, open this uh, archive in your downloads folder and unzip it, I mean the Eclipse folder, to location for your home page, then dev, and then just name uh, the, the folder Eclipse, which will be done by default when you unzip uh, your uh, archive to this directory. So this is how it will look. Inside dev you will have the folder Eclipse, and inside your folder Eclipse you will have the Eclipse itself. So now we will verify that Eclipse is working. And this can be done by double click on Eclipse file. And basically you can see that we can open it. Uh, let's open some default workspace that will be located inside your home folder, then dev folder, workspaces, and uh, name the workspace like mobile first. So our Eclipse is working and this is great. So next thing we need to do, we will create a shortcut for the uh, launcher instead of just clicking Eclipse uh, inside the, our Eclipse directory. So we will do it by navigating to our uh, start panel and from preferences selecting main menu editor. The password for uh, machine by default is double Q with uppercase, double Q with lowercase, and one, two, three, four, which you already know. And then let's put inside the programming uh, tab in our categories menu, new item. We will call this item uh, mobile first platform studio. And the command that we will launch actually will be, uh, as I said, our uh, Eclipse launcher inside our home folder. This will be home IBM dev Eclipse and Eclipse file. We can select the icon from the same location actually. the file called icon xpm. So uh, that's all that we need to do. We will, we will now press OK and close this. And we should see already inside the programming mobile first platform studio as we just uh, created it. So now we can also put this uh, shortcut inside our quick launch bar. So in order to do that, uh, we will press right button on our panel and select the uh, thing called add remove panel items. Then we will select application launch bar and edit it. And then we will put from programming 
Eclipse uh, with our name above first uh, platform studio and let's make it before our atom which is a text editor so just like this so as you can see we now have the Eclipse icon here and let's try to launch it and yep it is working excellent so next thing that we need to do we, we need actually to install mobile first platform studio in order to do that there are two options so first option is to go directly uh, from Eclipse uh, to marketplace by clicking help Eclipse marketplace and then searching for mobile first and the second option is to do the same from a browser go to marketplace.eclipse.org and search for mobile first but then if you will go from browser you will need to either copy the link either uh, grab the specific button and try to move it to, to Eclipse and this option where we are doing our task inside Eclipse is much easier so we are just searching for mobile first and we will find mobile first platform studio here and we need to click install We will select everything, everything is needed. So, as you can see, it took some time for us. Now we will need to accept the license and click finish to start our installation actually. And the product starts installing, so usually it takes about a few minutes, but it depends of course of your network connection settings. So if you have fast enough uh, internet provider, it will be faster. If it's a bit slow, it will be slower. So we'll need to wait a bit. Yeah, so now we, we need to click OK to agree with, with installation from the marketplace. And finally, we will need to restart Eclipse to make it happen. I mean, to get our mobile first platform studio installed. Okay, so after required restart, we can again open the same workspace. And now you can see that we, we have actually the welcome page uh, that already includes the mobile first platform things, which is nice. So this means that our mobile first platform studio is installed. Uh, but prior 
with file going uh, with the configuration and installation of other things, we need to actually install a few more things. And one of those is the browser. The trick with Linux and Eclipse is that uh, usually people experience some difficulties while pre previewing their mobile pages and actually the web pages inside the Eclipse because of embedded browser work, which is not really great. And in order to over, um, overcome this issue, uh, the best option is to install something called Xul Runner. So you can take that from the lab11 files. So uh, let's open our host folder called lab11 files and take the Xul Runner from there, the archive, and put it inside our downloads folder just next to Eclipse. Next we will need to open Xul Runner and extract the folder inside called Xul Runner uh, to our Eclipse location, which is, as you remember, uh, home folder, uh, dev, and then the Eclipse folder, so just extract it here. And at the end you should see something like this. So inside the Eclipse folder you should have now folder called Xul Runner. And next thing we should do, we should open Eclipse Ini. Let's do it with LeafPad, which is default text editor for our operation system. And basically the things that we need to add uh, are written in that Eclipse TXT from our host machine. So we just need to open it and take those two things, uh, which will initialize the Xul Runner as, as a browser and we will uh, need to put it after our launch settings of our required Java version so just here without the spaces of course and one more thing that we will change here we will change the heap size parameters uh, and basically this means we will change the memory allocation for our Eclipse because for mobile first platform and embedded server it will require some more resources and for our development and education purposes we will do the following we will select uh, one gig for maximum size uh, we will select uh, 256 for minimum and perm size will be 512 uh, so this will be enough for our development purposes, but you need to stick to the, to the documentation for the optimal levels if you will want to proceed with real development. So everything is stated there. So we finished with, with Eclipse Ini. Let's make sure that uh, our mobile first platform studio is still working and we will need to also make sure that our browser is working. So in order to do that, we will actually start the studio and create the dummy project, which will be for us the mobile first project. Um, let's do it with a hybrid app. Let's call it test. And name the app test and click finish, just like this. And we will need to move the to the perspective called design. So as you can see now, the, the browser is working. Actually, we can we can see the design. This is the web page created by default. It's pretty simple, but uh, anyway, this is the showcase that actually Excel Runner is working. So on this step, our lab one one is finished. Thank you.